Remember, nothing is over until we decide it is. So now that we have spent the last five days tooling about the world of porous and pompous politics, and it has been pompous in so many ways, let us leave you then properly with what others seek to copy but can never come close to the original. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the political punching bag. McCarthy's got plenty of support in Congress, so he's got the House part down. But apparently, he's still working on the Speaker. Today, to have a minority group within one party to say you cannot have a debate, you cannot have a vote on the bill, is in too important. And today is the day that we should really look to and the pressure mount to actually let the people have a say. Strong English-like words. Donald Trump is presidential. He just happens to be running on the wrong continent. In, face, in fact, once you, once you realize that Trump is basically the perfect African president, <laughs> you start to notice the similarities everywhere, like the level of self-regard. I say not in a braggadocious way. I've made billions and billions of dollars. I made a tremendous amount of money. I'm really rich. I have a great temperament. They love me anyway. I don't have to do this. I've done an amazing job. I was born with a certain intellect. God helped me by giving me a certain brain. I bet that's the one time that God's like, I don't need the praise. It's cool. I'm, that's you. That's you. I'm cool. Now, is that extraordinary level of bragging presidential? Well, uh, let's ask a man who actually was president. Idi Amin, former president and best president of Uganda. The people like me very much. I am very popular. I am very powerful. I am the one who has got the money. I have got a very good brain. There are too many people eating more than their fair share of pizza. A pizza is divided into eight equal slices. But what happens if three of you are sharing a pizza? That means that one of you is only eating two slices of pizza. Does that sound fair? Do you only get two slices while the top elite pizza eaters are running around with that third slice? I like people that weren't captured, okay? Donnie, please. Are you an Old Testament guy or a New Testament? Were you listening to the dude's story, Donnie? Uh, probably equal. Were you listening to the dude's story? I think it's just an incredible, the whole Bible is an incredible idea. So you have no frame of reference here, Donnie. You're like a child who wanders into the middle of a movie. It's time to break some plates at the State Fair of Texas and see which candidate fairgoers want to knock out first. Who do you want out of the race? Jeb Bush. Hillary Clinton. Oh, Hillary. Trump. All of them. We'll go for Hillary. On your mark, get set, go. Oh! You know, there are so many presidential polls coming out all the time, literally every day. It can be overwhelming. So I decided to sit down to poll a group that we rarely get to hear from, and that's kids. Kids have opinions on politics, too. <laughs> Who's this guy? Do you know Edie? George Clooney. George Clooney. No, that is not George Clooney. Why but he'll be it? very happy to hear you say that. All right. What this the is, world? I broke Scottish. This is Bob, Bobby Jindal. <laughs> Is he Scottish? He is Scottish. Yes. Yeah. I know Scottish. What do you think of this one? Oh, I know. Who? Barack Obama. No, that's, that's not Barack Obama. Barack Obama has dark skin like he does. And yeah, he's not. This is not Barack Obama. I'm like most people, you know, like when Trump announced he was running, I thought it was funny, you know, like, but that was four months ago and he's winning, you know, it's, it's not funny anymore. <laughs> you know, I think America needs to stop doing things because it's funny.